What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here. Welcome back to our primer series. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to naturally increase your melatonin levels. But before I do that, hey, listen, if this is your first time to the channel, if you love the content, hit that subscribe button, smack that like, and also smack the bell so you constantly get notifications. All right, so let's talk about this topic. Last time we talked about melatonin, we said that at the dosage that are commonly given, it stays in your blood too long. We wake up groggy and tired and we can't use the carbohydrates as well. So we said, well, I'm not a huge fan of it, but how can you make, make it naturally? Now, as, as by way of review, melatonin naturally raises up before we fall asleep, and then it goes down before we wake up, and it makes us fall asleep. So let's talk about how melatonin's made. Melatonin's made, um, you need a precursor, it's called tryptophan. Tryptophan is an amino acid. Now, tryptophan goes past into the brain, past the blood-brain barrier. It gets converted to serotonin, and that gets converted to melatonin. So again, tryptophan, building blocks of melatonin and amino acid, we gotta build it up. How do we do that? Well, there's a couple different ways. One, you need to understand that tryptophan's carried in the blood by a transport protein. That's called albumin, okay? But it competes with other things. And if these other things are high in the blood, it'll knock um, tryptophan off of the carrier protein, it'll be free in the blood, and it'll cross into the brain and make more melatonin. So there are a couple ways we could do that. Way number one, we can increase tryptophan in our diet, okay? So how do we do that? Well, certain uh, um, poultry is really high in tryptophan. Chicken is like the highest, turkey's really high in, in tryptophan, milk is really high in tryptophan. That's why, you remember when you were a kid, and your mom made you warm milk. This is kind of, you can feel that you're, you're near a fireplace, you're drinking warm milk and you get sleepy. So these things taken, you know, an hour before bed will help us to fall asleep. So that's one way to do it, okay? Another way to do it is fatty acids. Fatty acids bind to that albumin protein and they compete with, with tryptophan on the protein. So if I can, we consume a higher fat, it knocks tryptophan off into the blood and then that goes past our brain, makes melatonin. So if you have a low carb meal at night, like uh, um, um, say you have your chicken, let's say it's chicken wings or something like that, but it's low carb, naked chicken wings, that high fat plus the tryptophan will help us go to sleep. You ever have like a high carb meal before and you just pass out? Well, one of the reasons why is that high carbs make us pass out is there are other amino acids that also compete with tryptophan to get taken up into the brain and carbs release insulin. Insulin lowers those amino acids which can compete with tryptophan to get in the brain, and tryptophan gets in the brain much more readily. So, you know, um, if you're trying to lose a lot of body fat, probably having a lot of carbs at night is not the way to go. If you just can't fall asleep, having some carbs before bed, um, that's why some people do the carb backloading thing, uh, can help you fall asleep, but you don't wanna do that if you're having the higher fat. So don't do the high tryptophan foods, plus high carbs, plus high fats, you don't wanna do that, okay? So pick one or the other, and it's all gonna be dependent on your goals. Also, if you look um, on the market, whey protein's really high in something called alpha-lactalbumin. Now, alpha-lactalbumin is really high in tryptophan, okay? So, and there's even whey proteins that are enriched with alpha-lactalbumin, just look that up. Uh, and whey enriched with alpha-lactalbumin, Fernando's gonna spell that out for you. On, on this thing. But anyway, um, studies show that that makes you fall asleep more. So studies show that when we consume foods high in tryptophan, like poultry um, or milk or lactalbumin um, in rich whey, that it increases our sleep quality by as much as 20%, right? And also studies show that we wake up feeling more, more alive, more awake, uh, more alert. Um, now, uh, a lot of you are saying like, well, how much sleep should I get? Studies show that like if you're normal, you don't exercise at least six to eight hours, but actually for athletes, if you wanna optimize recovery, greater than eight hours. In fact, anywhere from eight, nine, or 10 hours of sleep. Now that might be hard for a lot of you, but at least get eight hours of sleep. And one way to do it is maximize your natural uh, melatonin production. The way to do that is bump that tryptophan, guys. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time.